The Lord of the Rings is a cherished nerd franchise that received considerable love through its early video game adaptations. However, it's been a long time since then and the sour taste of 2023's Golem still rests in gamers' mouths, which might make it difficult for us to open our hearts to a new adventure. I'll be the first to say that the reveal trailer for Tales of the Shire, a Lord of the Rings game, was not a good introduction. The choppy visuals and evident pop-in was tough to watch in an official capacity, but I think it's important to give developers time to cook. Well, cook they did because after spending time with the early hours of Tales of the Shire, I think there's something special here that, with a little more love, can become a standout release in the cozy genre. Tales of the Shire, a Lord of the Rings game is set in the Hobbit village of Bywater. You have decided to join the village's effort to grow and your adventure begins. While there is a familiar face in this introduction, the opening moments have you explore the town while introducing the other hobbits, but everything seems to have a familiar undertone. It's as if you've been here before, maybe in my imagination, but the watercolor-esque designs of the environment and soft palette of colors where the light brown sort of blend with greens and yellow give it almost a dreamlike quality to the entire experience. I was surprised at how big Weta Studios has gone with this town. They've given themselves room to really immerse the players in the genuinely gorgeous world that I didn't know was here. The game loop follows the life of a hobbit. With no natural enemies and plenty of work to be done, a hobbit's life isn't on easy street. While the opening drips a nice feed of quests that introduce some townspeople and surrounding areas, you'll soon have access to a nice pull of optional quests and ways to spend your time. Interestingly, each day the NPC hobbits have their own responsibility, so planning your days can also include understanding the schedules of the others to be more proficient. At least, that was my thought process going into the game, intending to get through it as quickly as possible. As I slowed down to smell the roses, fish by the stream, skip through bywater, and sit down for second breakfast, I realized Tales of the Shire doesn't want you to speed through this experience. A hobbit's life is busy, but it's never rushed. So I organized my quests around what I wanted to do, such as customizing my hobbit home and farm. The customization options have depth and allow players to add their own personal touch to the town. Other unique systems are the birds that fly into screen and point you in the right direction. I honestly thought this system was gimmicky, but it works surprisingly well. I openly wanted to rely on the birds rather than opening up my map for the added immersion. Although I think the developers are on the right track here, there's so much potential in giving each of the townspeople an ounce of personality. Currently, you have the main cast, but the non-interactable NPCs are walking around as well. I'd like Weta Workshop to take a page out of the Falcom textbooks and give these NPCs a purpose if only because the immersion that the team is trying to capture is dimmed when a text bubble appears over the NPC's head with something that has nothing to do with what's going on. Further, the character creator could use a couple more facial options, and I wish I could hotkey four tools at once instead of switching the one tool from a wheel. All this to say, the delay to March 2025 is a great thing for Tales of the Shire. Still, these cozy life sims rely heavily on their late game quests and customizations. I'd hate for these systems to go to waste because the quest lines become repetitive or the NPCs fail to impact the narrative. This is an enormous undertaking from the studio, but from what I've seen, they know what they're doing. I'm definitely looking forward to planning out my 11z's mills with my hobbit friends. Oh, that's right, I didn't actually touch on the Atelier-S cooking system in the game. Oh well, that's beyond the scope of this preview where I just wanted to say, don't sleep on Tales of the Shire, a Lord of the Rings game. Tales of the Shire, a Lord of the Rings game is coming to PS5, Xbox Series, Nintendo Switch, and PC on March 25th, 2025. Thanks for watching, this video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.